Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you how I make my uh, delicious crust for um, for my uh, rock pizza. These, this is one of the crusts I make and it's going to be a cauliflower, uh, cauliflower crust and I'm going to show you how easy it is and I also use some of the ingredients such as the um, uh, the uh, pulp of my almonds after I make some uh, almond milk. So I'm also going to use some of that so I don't waste the uh, almond pulp and it adds such great flavor and texture to the crust itself. So we're going to use uh, about a medium sized cauliflower um, and we're going to use about maybe three garlic cloves that I'm going to throw in into the uh, food processor. And of course, what's my favorite ingredient? Cilantro. So I am going to take a small handful and I'm going to break this up and this is going to get pulsed in with my cauliflower. So I'm going to put some cilantro and we're going to take these ingredients and we're going to add it to my food processor. Okay, here's my food processor, I'm just going to plug this in. Okay, I'm sorry, I don't have the perfect place to do my videos, but I'll have to do for now. So I'm going to take my cilantro, I'm going to take some of the uh, cauliflower, and a couple of cloves of garlic. I'm going to do a little bit at a time because I want it all to be evenly pulsed. So we're going to start off with this. I'm going to probably mute this for you. This. I'm going to probably mute this for you. And it looks like it's got a nice, fine, grainy. I could even pulse it a little more. I love cilantro. Cilantro is so good for you. It takes away all the metals from you that your body takes in daily through food, um, through uh, fillings, and just stuff that we shouldn't have in our body. So cilantro is a great uh, detoxifier, and I will link um, a little note on how it really helps to de detoxify you. So I'm going to get another bowl. And I'm going to put this in for now, and I'm going to do some more of my, my cauliflower. It's so good. I don't know if you've ever tried a raw pizza, but it really is good. And if you have a dehydrator, uh, when you pull it out of the dehydrator, it's nice and warm, so you really don't, I mean, you don't miss that uh, warm or hot pizza. Mind you, I've been eating cold food, well, not cold, room temperature food for so long now, I can't even eat hot food anymore. Okay, so I'm going to do the second half. Let me put my blade in. And I'm just going to add the rest of the... cauliflower and cilantro right into the um, the food processor but I'm also going to add some onion so like I said I'm not sure if you've ever had raw pizza but it really is so good for you and it's nice to try something new once in a while I do make cooked pizza uh, my husband does not eat raw. Well, he eats some of my raw dishes. It's not that he doesn't like it, but he prefers his hot, his hot meals. So I'm going to put a little bit of onion. I would say maybe a quarter cup of onion that I'm going to pulse with the rest of my batch that I need to chop up. And, 
You know what? Raw food is really beneficial. I'll tell you one thing. I've been doing this now for a long time. It's over, I'd say it's over seven years. And when I do eat some cooked food, my stomach is not happy. It tells me, what did you put in my belly? It really is not happy when I do eat um, something that might be a little too heavy and cooked. So what does that tell you? When you feel sluggish, my whole body feels sluggish. I just don't feel the same energy uh, like when I eat my raw foods. And I'm not telling you you have to eat just raw, but do try and put some of these raw dishes into your lifestyle and you're going to see how full of energy you feel when you eat something raw. It just gives you that extra energy. Uh, you feel lighter. You feel like you're not so packed up inside. It really is a di there really is a difference. Uh, like I said, you could put this in a Vitamix, but it will be a lot creamier. It won't be as fluffy. This is going to be a fluffier texture when you uh, make this pizza crust because the cauliflower hasn't been pureed. But otherwise, you can make the identical recipe and you can use, uh, like I said, you can use a Vitamix and get it into almost a, like a smoothie texture and then pour it onto your sheet, your dehydrator sheet. So really these raw foods and crust and crackers, it's what you do to them and the flavors you do put into them. Now I will squeeze some lime juice onto this so it keeps it as light as possible. Otherwise it might get too dark on me. And it doesn't have to be lime. It could be, uh, it could be lemon, but I love cilantro and I love my lime. So. I will be putting some lime. I will just squeeze it with my hands. Food, and you can put what you want in it. But I'm going to put the cilantro. I'm going to put the um, sorry. But what I'm doing is putting cilantro because I love the taste of cilantro. I am nuts over cilantro. I can eat cilantro all day long. And I put some onion. I put I put three cloves of garlic. I put some lime juice. I'm going to mix this up and now I will add some of the almond pulp that I saved after making milk. But I'm not going to use all of it. I'm going to use, well we'll see. I'm going to use half for now and then we'll see if I want to add some more. I'll see the texture. This is going to be a nice little margarita. It's almost like a little Mexican pizza. So I will put some salt. And salt will be to taste. So I've got some pink Himalayan salt that I'm going to crack. And because it's a coarser salt, you really have to be careful when you're mixing it up. And that you don't make it too salty that you're not able to eat it. So I have my almond pulp. And that would have been, right now I've used only half. And I do have a recipe if you're interested in trying to make your own almond milk. It's a sweeter batch that I have up on my YouTube. My daughter likes it with vanilla and some sweetness lately. So I've been adding some vanilla and some dates to sweeten up the milk. Otherwise, I prefer it just plain. Okay, so here is my mixture. And like I said, I might just use the rest because I'll have a big batch, but that's okay. I'll have enough for next time. But if you're counting uh, calories, don't use all the almond pulp. Or you don't even have to use the almond pulp if you don't want to. But I am not going to waste my food, so I incorporate it, incorporate it into what I make. And this spatula is really not doing it for me. I will get a spoon or a fork. Hold on. Mmm, that's so good. I will put more salt though. Okay, so here we go. Makes it a lot easier. I will add... 
I will add some extra some extra salt. Mm, so good. But do play it by ear. And get creative. You know, if you change up the recipe, let me know. Write it in the comments. Let me know what you did to yours. And I'd love to try it. So I'm going to put some black pepper in this. And I'm going to put a couple of pinches of black pepper. And I will add some... Uh, some chili. I'm going to use just a loose chili flakes. Keep tasting it and see how you like it. But remember, after it's been dehydrated, it will get saltier, so don't go crazy on it. This is really good. find that cilantro has such a beautiful fresh fresh taste to it okay so now there we go I'm gonna take let's say about a quarter cup of ground flax seeds but I will add a little bit of water to this okay I will add a little bit of water to this and I just wanted to uh, get all mucusy I don't know if you know what uh, flax seeds like ground or the um, or the solid seed if you add water to it it becomes almost like an egg mixture it gets all mucusy and it just helps hold everything together. So I'm just going to let this sit a bit till it gets nice and gooey. And then I'm going to add that to my, to my cauliflower mixture. So I say about a quarter cup of flaxseed with a quarter cup of water. And we will add that to the cauliflower. But I will let it sit so that it activates all that mucus. And it's just going to help bind everything together. And remember, because I didn't get it too creamy, this is going to be more of a fluffy, almost a fluffy type crust. It won't be as um, dry or uh, flexible like if you were using a liquid form of the cauliflower, if you would have used it in your, um, in your Vitamix. So I left it that there is, um, there are tiny bits, but there are little bits of cauliflower. And that's just going to help the crust get nice and soft and fluffy. And it's just going to make a nice bite when you take a bite of this, uh, of this pizza. So we're just going to let this rest. And then we're going to add it to the, um, sorry I'm losing my voice. Uh, we're going to add it to the cauliflower mixture. Okay, so this is sat there long enough. I'm just going to add it. You see how jelly like it? So here we go. We're going to mix this really good. And then we're going to put it on our, our dehydrating tray. And we're going to put it in for about 115 it doesn't destroy the enzymes or the vitamins. It keeps it still intact. Yet it takes away the moisture so it has a nice, a nice firmness to it. And you can actually hold this up like a piece of pizza. So I just want to get it really mixed up. Now you can add some sun-dried tomatoes if you want in here. Uh, you could add some little bits of, you know what, I have, which I'm going to add in here. I made tempanade. 
I made some tempeh that I'm going to, black olive, that I'm going to add to it. Here we go. I'm not going to use a lot. I'm just going to use a little bit. I made this. There's a recipe on how to make this. It's very easy. This is great on bread or it's just great on anything. So this will darken my, and those are orange bits, so don't freak out on that. This will darken my, um, my crust, but that's okay. I don't mind. As long as it tastes good and it's going in my belly, I really don't mind if it gets a little dark. But because there's a little bit of olive now, it's going to give it that nice little olivey crust taste. Now, you could also add some olive oil if you want, and I will do that. I have some real good cold press olive oil, and I'm just going to put just a drizzle, not a lot, just a drizzle. I usually don't put that much oil in my food. I don't put any. I'd rather eat the natural fats such as avocado. But since I'm making this crust and I want it to bind, I'm going to add just a little bit. So I would say about maybe a teaspoon of olive oil. And like I said, that's optional. You don't have to put it. It looks like I've mixed it up really good. I've got my chili in there. I've got my cilantro. I've got my crushed black olive. I'll link you to that recipe if you want. Uh, you know, you could also put oregano if you want or basil. But I'm doing the cilantro this time. Oh my God. This is to die for. Really, really good. I will put extra black pepper. There we go. And now I'm going to put this on the dehydrator. Sorry, on the dehydrator sheet. So I will make two crusts out of this. Okay, I'll move this back here. There we go. And I'm going to take half of this. And I'm going to make it into a crust. A round crust. So I'll show you what I do. I take a little bit of cellophane and I'm just gonna slowly, so you don't even dirty your hands, you just form it into a circle. How beautiful that is. You're making a pizza crust, so you can make it small, you can make it bigger, and you don't want to make this too thin because it will go down in it will go down in height. But you don't want it too thin that you're not able to hold it. What you could also do is Cut your wedges ahead of time if you want. But I'll just cut it later on once it's on my cutting board. And that's how easy. You can use a rolling pin. But it really is easy. And it's just a matter of waiting. So you want to make these ahead of time. If you want pizza, you're going to make it ahead of time. Like I said, if you want it less fattening, don't put the almond pulp because that will add up your calories. And there it is. So I think this is a perfect size. You don't want it to. I'll probably share this with my daughter. I mean, I could eat the whole thing, but I'd rather have a nice large salad next to it. So I will share this with my daughter.
There you go. Now you can get creative and throw little dollops of the olive if you want. Or you could just cut the olive. See? Just put little dollops of olive here and there. Or you could just get a, an olive right out of it. Those won't be raw, unfortunately. But it's not that we have it that often that I'm going to worry about it. Or you could get the olive and just cut it up and slice it right onto your pizza. And when I tell you this is good, this is really, really good. And if you don't want to make pizza, you could also use this as a bread when you're eating, uh, when you're eating a salad. And you could also slice some garlic on top and make it like a garlic bread, almost like a naan bread. So there we go. And that's going to be my pizza crust. So I'm going to have two of these made. I'm going to have two of these made. And I'm going to go put them in the dehydrator. So you see it's not so... I'm not sure if you can catch it. How the thickness is. It's not overly... It's not overly thin. And it's going to be delicious. So I'll be right back. Okay. So this one here, I'm not going to turn it into a pizza dough. I am going to make myself sandwich bread. I could either put a, a burger in it, or I can slice some veggies. Okay, there we go. There we go, put this on top. I'm not going to make it round because I want to cut it. To make. To make sandwich bread with this. Now I'm going to make it flat. Rather than making a bread form. Which is something that you can also do. But this one is going to be put into the dehydrator in a flat shape. And this will be for when I make a tomato sandwich or if I'm making um, my tuna, which I'll show you how I make my vegan tuna. You could also make a nice pate you could put in here. It really, you don't miss anything when you're eating raw. You could call this gourmet raw, of course, because you can be happy just eating salads. But sometimes you get that little craving of something that you use, especially if you're, if you're transitioning. Jeez, I just realized I cut myself off. I was going to say, if you haven't been vegan long enough and you get these cravings well food like this will help you transition easier my meals consist of throwing vegetables and salads in a bowl and I sit there and I enjoy it but once in a while like the other day my husband had homemade pizza and the smell of that pizza was killing me. I just needed to have some. So I said I was going to make myself some crust. And I did. And I will have pizza too. But I'm not going to lie to you. I did have a bite of this pizza. You hear my cats are hissing at each other. Okay, so you want this to be thinner. Then the, um, okay, be nice to each other. Mufet. I have a whole bunch of cats. Why do I have a whole bunch of cats? Because I couldn't handle seeing all these animals. <coughs> Sorry. I couldn't handle seeing all these animals out in the street. People that move, they dump their animals after they've moved into a new home. 
and they spent the whole winter out in the cold. It was killing me, so every time I would see one, I did build a shelter outside, and some of them lived in the shelter for a while, and, uh, but a lot of these animals were newly abandoned, and I was not going to let them spend the winter outside, especially if they weren't used to going into the shelter that I had built. So I just had to bring them in. My husband wasn't happy in the beginning because we do have six cats now. Okay, so here we go. I made it as nice and as thin as I can make it. It's about the same height as the... Um, as the uh, pizza crust, just a little thinner. And if I could just find my rolling pin. Right, there we go. I'll show you. You could also put the plastic on top and just gently roll it down. And you'll get even, even slices when you cut them. So it's just a matter of getting creative. And you can make some great raw dishes that will help you transition either to the raws or if you're just curious and you want to try some raw dishes. So there we go. I will now cut this one. And I'll show you what I do. I don't really cut it, but I will make some, um, some markings. I want this to be about that size and even Steven this will be that size so my sandwich slices would be there and there so I'll have some small ones and some big ones but it's all good this one I'll probably cut this one right in half so I'll have one, two, three, four sandwiches. It's going to be easier for me to break open when I, uh, after it's been cooked. So this is going to go into the dehydrator. And um, so it really is easy. Um, and if you give these recipes a try, let me know. Leave a comment. And um, I would love to hear from you. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.